following a recent statement issued by the governor of Anambra State, Chasuludu, revealing that the last administration kept 300 million naira in coffers, but left over 100 billion naira debt. A group of Nigerians in diaspora have opened up on their plan to help settle the debt. In a post made by a group of Anambra indigenous in diaspora, disclosed this plan as they urged Governor Chasuludu to open an account to enable them contribute for the development of the state. According to the group's post, it says Diaspora Development Fund account, Governor Soludo should, as a matter of urgency, open a Diaspora Development account in any of the Nigerian banks in Naira, USD, GBP, and Euro, to enable many of us residing outside Anambra to contribute funds to develop our dear states. <laughs> but well, one thing is that uh, most of these politicians that have been accused of uh, corruption here and there, they don't, they don't recover the money back. That is the problem. Because the man who did that should be able to pay back. And I thought that uh, as as it was just released, it will come out or a release statement. I think he has his media or whatever that are still working with him, his age and what have you, to have released, this, uh, released a statement to counter what uh, Soludo has said. But by and large, at the end of the day, the money will not come back, come out from him. There is going to be a, a play bargain, but the money, the, the state must have lost the money. If not, he should be able to pay the money back. Or what he, he did, he used the money for. I'm sure they are going to be bringing and cooking up a lot of things. They are going to release a statement because I think it's too early for them to respond to the allegation levied um, against uh, Obiano. I am sure his media team are really working so well. They are so well, working so well to be able to bring up some things and say, oh, this is where we spent the money. This is how we spent the money. Shortly after they disclosed, they disclosed their plans, many Nigerians reacted as they commended the group's decision and also advised the state government to be transparent in their contributions. Wow, this uh, is commendable. May God bless all those who are willing to contribute, you can imagine. Now they go chop money, their families all of them go they, they enjoy. I mean all those governors, the politicians. But the masses who are suffering will still be the ones to come together and say, let us do this. Please and please, if you don't have anything to contribute, you don't need to castigate those who are willing and wish to contribute to alleviate living condition of the poor, hard-working people in the state. Abio, what's your reply? This is what the Indians and the Chinese in diaspora did to salvage and develop their countries. Yes, if you have a people who are trustworthy, not that you'll be putting uh, putting and contributing money in the hands of a uh, looters, and you will not see the result of it. No, that is not the way it ought to be. Very true, they have done so well, but it is very hard to trust all these Nigerian politicians. Please, Soludo, don't disappoint us. Too. Like Obi, I know we believe you can make an umbra better than Lagos. I hope so too. When we elect good leaders into office, people will be ready to help so that it can succeed. They know their money will not be diverted. Let us be careful about the source of such money. So no drugs, no for one night, no ritual money. Go and sit down. Pessimist. Pessimist. You are really both physically and spiritual for her. Please. Hide away when real men are of substance are talking. Mm. I salute the initiative, but do please resist the temptation to make it an only an umbra affair. Such initiative should be pan Igbo covering especially Igbo areas of delta rivers, especially Equiri. Eh? <laughs> it can be applicable where Supreme Court governors are presiding. Let it be kick started from Anambra State first. God bless Igbo. Igbo, Igbo. Mm. Oh, how I love my state and my people, plus Igbos in general. One love. Ibanyi, no. Ibanyi, no. Great innovation. I pray they accomplish this in good time, as it will help the new governor to stabilize and achieve great success in Anambra State. I have always known with Right leadership, there is no stopping us in our dear Nigeria. Give Nigeria Peter Obi and see how much support federal government we get from all the regions. It's all about trust. 
which Tinubu is the foundation of modern Lagos. Lagos was federal capital of Nigeria from amalgamation to 1991. All federal revenue at the time, mainly from Eastern Oil, were invested to develop Lagos. When did Tinubu become governor? 1999. What a red light. Huh. Okay, for those who are saying Tinubu built Lagos. To me, it is a welcome development if you can look it from a different perspective. For Nder Nambra to be developed through collective efforts of the indigenous, it will go a long way in the history of the state for the growth of the state in all the sectors of the economy. Wishing the governor Soludo well. I mean, Professor Soludo. I pray that say, God gives me privilege to donate money for my state also. A welcome development, Anambra states, the new Dubai under Soludo. We thank God for the grace. Oh, that is lovely. God, please bless all of us. He said, favorite usually attract favor to favor all and sundry. How much of it is Soludo collecting from Ubiano and wife? Let's get it from them and diaspora can add to it. We should not let Obiano and Tim go free with that. Oh, I hope they will be able to return the money back to the government. Whether it's ESCC, we seize it and, and that is it. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Igbos always have the zeal in them. It was a one, it is really wonderful. I think uh, those who are always saying, oh, they don't unite, they don't like themselves. We are not hearing from them. We are not hearing them again. Oh, that uh, Igbo, they don't love themselves. Oh, they don't do this and that. For where the list is a conglomerate, conglomeration of thieves that stole the entire Nigeria Commonwealth before Buhari pushed them away. The thieves have surfaced again, but no way for them again. <laughs> Who is Buhari? Is it a name of person or toothless dog that divide and rule by God tree? Hmm. What of the governor who looted the state treasury? They should seize all his assets. Yeah, they've started doing that. They've started doing that. I welcome the idea, but Obiano should be persuaded or whatever through EFCC to return all the money is stole to avoid such in future. Anambra will be great again. So that's uh, nobody will just go and see, see and say, oh, it will get, they will get away with it and some other people will start paying. No, the truth must be told. 300 million naira compared to 75 billion naira that Peter will be left. Terrible comparison. So, guys, what do you think? When godly leaders are in power, God's children rejoice. Yeah, this is so nice of them. Let's see how it goes.